Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also share, like, and comment. Us by through social media or any other way. We've gathered here very uh, quickly in a matter of emergency to inform you of some recent development regarding our matters in court. As we are seated here, uh, we have a team led by the Vice President, Honorable Given Luwinda, with the leader of the opposition, Honorable Brian Munduwile, our uh, uh, acting SG, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa, and members of the Central Committee, Madam Sylvia Chalikosa, Professor Nkanduluo, and Madam Jean Kapatame Manuel Mwamba, Chairperson for Information and Publicity. We have a development in the matter. You are aware that we have two major cases regarding the patriotic front that are in, in court. The first one is a matter that is in the constitutional court where nine of our MPs are challenging the purported expulsion that uh, uh, our brother Mao Sampa effected on these nine MPs. That matter is being heard. It was adjourned, I think, for a judgment in June. We were given a date of June 27th. We have another matter that has been before uh, Judge, High Court Judge Vincent Sililo Siloka. Uh, in this matter, the presidential candidate, Mutoto Ekafuaya, Honorable Mutoto Ekafuaya, Emmanuel Mwamba, Godfrey Walia Mwamba, Chimbaka Mwili, Grayford Monde, Chitalu Chulufia, uh, uh, Bran Munduwile, petitioned and sued Mao Sampa and Morgan Ingona that the purported conference that he held on 24th October 2023 was illegal and it had no merit because the presidential candidates who had paid to participate in the election that was going to be organized by the party uh, has not taken place and they were surprised that Mr. Mao's Walia Sampa and Mr. Morgan Ingona were referring to themselves as having held a conference, extraordinary conference, and calling themselves President and Secretary General. In this matter, uh, 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 our lawyers and the lawyers for Mao Sampa have been pursuing this particular matter. And there was a ruling, a notice for a ruling that was given yesterday, 23rd May 2024. And this ruling was uh, given to us late in the evenings, and we became aware of it today. The purpose of this press conference is to alert you of the outcome of the ruling by uh, Judge Siloka. The judge has dismissed our petition on two grounds. He alleges that there is multiplicity of cases that uh, the Patriotic Front and all ourselves have taken to court. Essentially, that was the main reason he has cited in his conclusion. He says the petition is dismissed, page one to order 14A2, for multiplicity of actions. He says the matter has been dismissed with costs to be taxed in default of the agreement, and leave was given to us to appeal. Leave was granted for us to appeal. The implication of this matter immediately is that uh, the matter is under consideration. For example, they say multiplicity of cases. I, Emmanuel Mwamba, I'm not before any other court as a presidential candidate. I'm not in the constitutional court where our MPs are. I'm not aware that Shimba Kambuili is also before any other court. I'm not aware that Grayford Monde is before any other uh, court. I'm not aware that Honorable Chitalu Chilufia is also before any other court. So the purported reason by the judge that this matter must be dismissed on multiplicity doesn't even arise, because for us, we went to this court and only this court. Um, the matter that is before the Constitutional Court is separate, totally separate. The MPs were expelled by someone who purports to be president. And under the law, under Article 60, they can, such a matter regarding the Constitution can only be heard by the Constitutional Court. And there were earlier meetings that were held to resolve the delay in resolving the patriotic front issues. And in those meetings, it was resolved 
that we, both parties, must, if we had any other cases, to attend to this issue of multiplicity or duplicity, must abandon the other cases. You are aware that we had the matter before Judge uh, uh, Chocho. We discontinued that matter. You are aware that we had an appeal before the Court of Appeal. We discontinued that matter because it was an appeal arising from the decision of Judge Chocho. So we are totally shocked to learn that this uh, High Court judge has ruled that uh, because of multiplicity of cases that uh, Therefore, he has dismissed our application. He didn't even bother to go into the merit. Remember, this was a preliminary matter that was raised by Mr. Mao's Walia Sampa, where he purported that there were multiplicity of cases and that we are uh, 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 forum shopping. And he said it, the matter should be dismissed on account of multiplicity. And as we have demonstrated, there is no multiplicity of these matters. This matter has just happened and requires that it, is, it be studied. However, I'm going to invite uh, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa, who is our Secretary General, um, if he has any comments, and then invite uh, the Vice President, Honorable Given Lubinda, to give his remarks about this matter. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Chairman, for information. And thank you to, and the greetings to all the people who are watching us from wherever you may be watching us from. Yes, indeed, we've taken time as uh, the top leadership of the party to just uh, study and go through this ruling. And uh, as Ambassador Mamba has stated, this particular ruling has come to us with huge surprise because it has been dismissed for multiplicity of cases, meaning that the main issues that we presented before this honorable, that honorable judge and the honorable court were not even looked at. We therefore feel that as a party, we need to take steps on this particular matter and go to the next level. And we always, the PF always respects the decisions of the judiciary and of the courts. So we've respected this particular decision. And what we are going to do is we are going to ask our lawyers to take certain steps. And I'd like to think those are the issues that our Vice President, Honorable Given Lubinda, is going to speak to. So may I call upon Vice President Honorable Lubinda to please address the audience. Thank you. You can do it by just wearing the... Thank you very much. Just to make it clear, the preliminary issues that were raised by Miles Sampa did not come to us with any surprise at all. For us, that fits in the narrative that was disclosed by one of Mao Sampa's lawyers who divulged to the country that they are going to use all means to stretch these matters for over a long period of time. He actually did state that they will make sure that they keep stretching and stretching and stretching until 2026. So we were not surprised when we heard that Miles Sampa chose that instead of the courts being asked to delve into the merits and the merits of the main matter, they decided to come up with uh, some preliminary issues. Like uh, Chairman Information stated, one of the preliminary issues was the question about duplicity of matters, that there were too many similar matters that were before the courts of law. And the second preliminary issue that was raised was that the petition by Mutotwe Kafuaya, Emmanuel Mwamba, Godfrey Waliak Mwamba, Chishimba Kambuidi, Greyford Monde, Chitaru Chirufia, Brian Mundubile was signed by council and not by the petitioners. And I thought we should make this clear. On the first preliminary issue, 
which I'll comment on a little later. Yes, the judge chose to say yes, there was a duplicity of matters. On the second matter, on the second preliminary issue, the judge threw out that preliminary issue and stated that because this is not an election petition, the petitioners, the names I've called out, did not have to sign the petition, but that the petition was correctly signed by their counsel. Now, coming to the first matter, the matter of duplicity. Like has been said already, there are indeed two matters that were running before our judiciary concerning Miles Bualiasampa. He is the one common denominator. In both matters, he is the respondent. He was the respondent in the matter before Judge Siloka in the High Court, and also the respondent in the matter before the Constitutional Court. However, the petitioners are not necessarily the same. The petitioners in the matter before Siloka are the ones that I've mentioned. And the petitioners in the matter before the Constitutional Court are different people, except that there are a few, such as Brian Mundubide and Mutotwe Kafuaya. And those are the only two, as a matter of fact, and Chitalu Chirufia, the three. They are the ones who happen to be petitioners in both matters. And therefore, as a principle of law, it cannot be said that there is a duplicity of matters when the litigants are not necessarily the same. So much as Secretary General of the Party, Deputy Secretary General of the Party is saying, yes, we accept the ruling of the High Court, we have to say that we accept it, albeit with questions, and we are not satisfied at all. I have since spoken to some of the petitioners in the matter in the High Court, and they have indicated to me, and I render them total support of the party, and I speak now on behalf of President Edgar Chagualungu and the Central Committee. We give them total support that they do appeal. Let, let them take the opportunity that has been provided by Judge Siloka for them to appeal, and indeed they shall appeal this matter because they want to demonstrate to the Court of Appeal that uh, it is not correct. The finding of the judge, Siloka, is not correct that this matter constitutes duplicity because the players in one matter are not necessarily players in the other matter which is before the Constitutional Court. I also ought to state that it has become abundantly clear to us that Miles Sampa and his team can commit all sorts of atrocities. Miles Sampa and the team can commit contempt in the full view of the court, and yet the court pays a blind eye. And yet Miles Sampa is also quick to take actions against members of the Patriotic Front, and the courts seem to be listening. I wonder why there is this seemingly double play, double standards. I just want to assure you, members of uh, the Patriotic Front, first of all, but also members of uh, our society, fellow citizens, that we in the Patriotic Front have been patient over this matter for a very long time. This matter started way back in 2022. And right from the start, we demonstrated that Haga Indehitidema's hand was involved in this. To date, we still stand by that. We know for a fact that Mayo Sampa is not doing this on his own accord. We know that Mayo Sampa is being fettered by Haga Indehitidema. But we want to also state that we shall not give up. We are resolved not to give up. Yes, we have a matter before the Constitutional Court, and yes, we have agreed with our colleagues who presented themselves to stand for presidential candidate in the Patriotic Front. We have allowed them to appeal the matter because we see that the two matters stem from different parts of the Constitution.
The matter before the High Court stems from Part 3, the Bill of Rights of the Constitution, because these eight colleagues of ours, seven colleagues of ours, are petitioning the court saying they are right to participate in an election was denied them by the action taken by Mao Sampa. Whereas the action by members of parliament emanates from Article 60 of the Constitution, which questions whether the meeting that Mao Sampa held with the sponsorship of Haga Inde Ijirema and the full support of Grafeo Musamba when he sent a battalion of police officers and ZNBC coverage was a democratic election as is provided for in Article 60. We shall continue to pursue these matters. Make no mistake, and I want to make it very clear. Haga Inde Ijirema, make no mistake. In the case that you are thinking that you can wish the patriotic front away, let me just say to you, you shall not use any kind of mingalato to wish the patriotic front away. We are going to use the justice system in the country. And like we said before, when we realize that we're not getting what we deserve to get, we shall use any other means to make sure that we protect our party. We are not going to give up this fight that easily. We shall now wait for the appeal and shall wait for the ruling, again, in a preliminary issue over the matter that is before the Constitutional Court. And we pray that the Constitutional Court will also not come around and say there's a duplicity of cases because it is very clear that the players in these matters are totally different, except for a few who happen to be in both cases. The fact that the respondent is the same does not necessarily mean that there is duplicity of matters. The ones who are aggrieved are totally different. But without meaning to preempt the constitutional court, I want to say we shall eagerly wait for their ruling on the 27th of June. And then we hope that the matter shall be heard on its merits. I also want to remind citizens that the constitution of Zambia is very clear in so far as the judiciary not using technicalities unnecessarily as a way of adjudicating. The constitution is very clear that technicalities must not be a consideration when arriving at decisions. Cases must be adjudicated upon based on their merit. And we're hoping that the judiciary will now use the merits of the arguments that are being presented and not necessarily technicalities. Zambians, I would like to assure you that we are going to stand fast and make sure that we achieve the intentions that we have. And the intention we have is to ensure that the patriotic front comes back and gives back hope to the Zambian people. And we save the Zambian people from the unnecessary suffering that they have been made to, subjected to, the unnecessary suffering that they have been exposed to, all because of the false promises that were given to them in the run-up to the 2021 elections. Time has come for us to call out people for who they are, liars, people who make promises that they don't even intend to achieve. It has also become apparently clear from the statement that was made by Haga Inde Hijirema when he was groundbreaking, the, for the second time, by the way, groundbreaking the Lusaka and Dollar Duo Courage Way, when he said that now that the law has been amended and now that uh, uh, the courts have been established, now he's going to follow people. It is very clear. Now we have indicated that that court was established and the law to have cases handled within five months was meant by Haga Inde Ejidema to target particular individuals. But Zambians, rest assured, the patriotic front leadership is determined. We are not in any way going to give up this fight. Thank you very much. And I want to thank my colleagues who petitioned in the High Court for their decision to appeal this matter. We support them and would like to ask all Zambians to rally behind our gallant men, go ahead and appeal so that this matter is brought to his conclusion based on merits and not on technicality. Thank you very much indeed.
Thank you very much. Um, the purpose of the press conference was to make you aware about the ruling that was done by Honorable Justice Vincent Sidilo Siloka of the High Court. Um, and you've heard the views both from our Secretary General, Acting Secretary General, and our Vice President. There will be further a follow-up press conference or press statement relating to this development. At the moment, we just wanted to give you a preliminary view of uh, what has occurred. And I'm glad that uh, the Vice President has put it very clearly that uh, we will wrestle the Patriotic Front to the legitimate owners and who we'll use political ways, judicial way. We have to do everything in our, in our powers to ensure that the Patriotic Front is wrestled back to the owners. All these schemes happening in the judiciary, at parliament, at ECZ, at the Zambia police, are all aimed at stealing the 2026 elections. And our people must be aware, must be aware of the comprehensive approach by President Daka in the and must stop him. He should respect democracy and he should respect the rule of law. He should not hijack institutions uh, to, to satisfy is, is, is illegal plans for 2026. Zambia is a democracy, and Zambia must have uh, uh, democratic elections in 2026. No candidate should be bad, no political party should be disenfranchised. That is illegal. So we, with those few remarks, we will get back to you by a comprehensive statement from the party, because our lawyers now will sit with the leadership and President um, acting, I mean, uh, the Vice President Honorable uh, Given Luwinda again will take these matters to President Edgar Lungu and will inform you of our next course of action. Do not relent, remain steadfast, remain strong. The Patriotic Front is here to stay. Thank you very much. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jay Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jay Cool, and turn on the notification bell, because I'm going to see you in the next video.